This is I'm Stuck, and in this video we're looking at differentiation and tangent and normals. So first of all, I've just put a note here which is saying that the normal is perpendicular to the tangent. And this means that the gradient of the normal is the negative reciprocal to the tangent. And this will make more sense when we start looking at a question. And the first question we have is in the following question, work out the equation of both the tangent and the normal. And the curve is y is equal to x to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed uh, plus x squared. And that's at the point 1, 4. So what we're going to do first is uh, differentiate this, um, as this is how you do find gradients. Uh, so dy by dx is equal to, and then we just differentiated it. I, do th I did this in a previous um, question. So if you don't know how to differentiate, watch that video. Um, but that goes to 4x cubed um, plus 6x squared plus 2x. Now, as that is at the point 1, 4, then we can work out the tangent gradient. So I'm going to put here tan and then m, which is just another way of saying the gradient and then what we'll just do is sub in one because this is x here four is obviously the y so we're just going to sub in that one so that's going to be four plus six plus two plus two and then that's equal to twelve now this is where the note that we have here comes into use because we know that the tangent gradient is 12 but the gradient of the normal is just a negative reciprocal to the tangent and in order to take the negative reciprocal you just take the reciprocal and then multiply it by minus 1. So normal m is therefore equal so if you're taking the reciprocal we would make it 1 over 12 so that's going to be minus 1 over 12. So therefore we now have both the gradient and now it's just about using previous knowledge and just making this an actual equation. And for doing this we're going to sub back the x and the y's back into it. So first of all we'll do the tangent as this was what we've already learned in previous videos. So it goes to 4 is equal to 12 plus c. Therefore, we know that c is going to be minus 8. So therefore, that equation is going to be y <coughs> is equal to 12x minus 8. Now it's a normal gradient. Now this is slightly harder, but only because the numbers are slightly harder. The maths isn't actually any harder. But to do this, we're just going to, again, do 4. And that's going to be is equal to minus 112 plus c. Therefore, if we added the, uh, the 112 from both sides, then we know that c is going to be equal to 49 over 12. And we'll keep it in a fraction instead of putting in a decimal because that's more accurate. So therefore, our final answer for that is going to be y is equal to minus 112 plus 49 over 12. So this next question here has slightly more context and you have to think about it a little bit more as it doesn't just give you the point where it, 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 the tangent is at. And the equation of the parabola here is y is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. And the question says work out the equation of a tangent to the curve that is parallel to the curve y equals 5x. Now the key with this question is knowing why parallel here uh, makes so much difference. And this is because if it's parallel it means that it has the same gradient. 
And again, we can differentiate y equals 5x. So dy over dx of y equals 5x is equal to 5. So therefore, we know that there is a gradient of 5. Now, that means that we can uh, work out what x is by doing dy dx of this here. So if we do dy dx of this here, we have 4x minus 3, and that is equal to 5. Now, if we rearrange this, we can find that x is equal to 2. Now, in order to find y, then we have to sub 2 back in here. So then 2 times by x squared, so 2 times 4 is equal to 8, minus 6 plus 1. So therefore, we know that y is equal to 3. And now after we've done this, we've essentially rearranged the question into a form that is nicer for us. So now we could rearrange this question as basically saying that y equal 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 at the point 2. Three. And next, we're just going to follow the stages that we did in the previous question. So we know the gradient the, um, that x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. I'm going to say that dy d, or dx is equal to 4x minus 3. So therefore, what we're going to do is to start subbing all of this in. So you can put 2 into 4x minus 3. So then you get 5 out, which we were expecting. And then you have y is equal to 3. And then that's going to be equal to 2 times 5. And again, this is following the same pattern as before. And we've already looked at how to do tangents and um, work out the gradient and work out their equation. So watch that if you're not understanding this. Um, but then 3 is equal to 10 plus c. So therefore, we know that c is equal to minus 7. And therefore, we just put it back in. So y is equal to 5x minus 7. So when we're looking at the normal then, now we, this is where the negative reciprocal idea comes in. So to work out the gradient, which you always start with, always work out the gradient first. You can do the, take the reciprocal, which is 1 over 5. Take the negative reciprocal is minus 1 over 5. And then we're going to start subbing these points back in, which we worked out. So these are the points here, 2, 3. So it's going to be 3 is equal to, and then the x, because it's, you get the minus 1 over 5, x, and then x we know is 2. So times that by 2, and then that's plus c. So if we're rearranging this, then we know that c is equal to... 3 plus 2 fifths, which we also know is going to be 17 over 5. So therefore, our final answer to this is y is equal to minus 1 fifth x, and then that's going to be plus 17 over 5. So that is how you do tangents and normals by using differentiation. Uh, the main important thing to remember is that the normal gradient is the negative reciprocal of uh, the tangent gradient. And once you get that, then you can kind of work from there and then you've, you find yourself back at easier topics such as just the equation of a tangent. But thank you very much for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.